and we are live. Hello everybody on YouTube, uh, my name is Zero Ajir and I'm actually doing a co-op playthrough with a buddy of mine, Gizmo. First time for him playing Terraria and we're going to see how well we do. Hello, hello. Yeah, so most of this is trees. Um, hold down shift if you want, it'll uh, automatically switch you over to the necessary tool to cut stuff down. And I will tell you this, it is a crimson world from when it was generating, I know that much. So we will not be dealing with the Eater of Worlds, we will be dealing with the Brain of Cthulhu, much like in my main playthrough. Fun stuff. Yeah. Oh no. Yes, the reason that we do not like short swords is they're horribly inefficient. Alright, let's fix this, sh this short sword situation. Press escape to open up your inventory and you can move stuff around and have an infinitely better weapon now. Give me one second, I can adjust my settings. Yep. Can I do that from here? Yeah, uh, most settings anyways. There's a few you won't be able to, but most of them you can. Just hit escape and then bottom right corner. I got a legendary copper sword. Short sword. Oh wow, you actually started with the uh, almighty legendary one. Yeah, it might be legendary, but it's still freaking garbage. Oh no, I'm in a hole. I'm dead. You shouldn't be dead. There was no major holes there. But yeah, you can get out of that lake. It's not that big. Come on, you can corner jump. No. There you go. Yay. <laughs> Just trying to. Okay, we're probably going to be turning around momentarily because this is likely the big evil desert biome that well, many ant lions that want to eat our faces. No, not ant lion. Oh yeah, it, I'm almost guaranteeing it is. Where? Yep, it is. We're going back. <laughs> I saw the pit. I'm not dealing with that crap right now. And yes, I made my character for this look like a ginger in a denim uh, suit. with the brown water? That's sketchy. Uh, it depends on the biome that you're, uh, the biome's background that dominates the area at the moment uh, changes the color. So the regular forest biome, you get the regular blue, same with the ocean. Um, if you're in crimson, it turns a light red. Blood moons make it dark red. Jungle is a kind of a lighter teal color almost. The desert's yellow. Um, and hallowed is like pink. Corruption's purple.
Well, it's definitely got a little bit of water going across to the other side here. Nothing too extreme, though. And that's the crimson. Okay. I know the limits of our explorations right now. Yeah, there's crimson over that way. We're just going to leave that alone. So, he better piss off and leave us alone. Huzzah! Alright, so, World Generation decided to screw with us a little bit and give us no immediate caves in the area for us to st actually explore into. Well, there might be one here. Same time with night coming, we might want to think of shelter. Huzzah! Build a home, they said. Yes. Because the zombies are about to start coming. I hear them. Oh, there's a worm. Kill it. Definitely a very unique game. Yeah. Just gonna quickly get us something set up here. Look at the guide go. The guide's got one kill under his belt. Now we have somewhere safe for the night. And you can't, um, most weapons you cannot attack through doors with. Or walls for that matter. There's a few exceptions to the rule. I can try. You'll fail, but you can certainly I ain't try. no hobo. I ain't no hobo. No, no, we got you a home. Much to this character's namesake, I'm not going to be fighting with melee weapons very much. Right up until I run out of arrows. Time to see where this goes. Ooh, we got an underground lake up under our house.
I almost flooded that. And we're thankful that you didn't. Um, watch it, watch it. No, don't go too far. And here's why. Do we see what's up there? Ah. There was a pressure plate waiting for somebody to step on it, and it would have been death. Well, we're definitely getting a bit of a retro world, though. We've gotten both copper and iron, which are the old ores. Huzzah. How do you lay torches? Um, to make more torches, uh, you'd have to go into your... So with the inventory window open, you'll see over on the left side there's the crafting um, list. You need to have a bit of gel and no, one. How do you lay them? Oh, uh, while you're holding shift, you have to click. Um, now up above, we had back wall to place them on. Where we are now, this is not back wall; it's just background. So you have to place it against an actual physical block. So if you place it in a mouse over a tile that's right against a block, it will place it attached to the wall or floor. Does that make sense? Oops. Uh, oh, that's fine. You can right-click on a torch to pick it back up, effectively. I lost my... oh, okay. I, I thought I lost my pickaxe. No, but we got a couple... I also got a godly copper pickaxe. Uh-huh, I got a basic pickaxe, basic axe, and had a basic short sword, so we clearly know who hacked their character. <laughs> But, well, this copper should at least help a little bit. Copper's not that great for making weapons, but it's at least halfway decent for armor. Early, early armor. And go figure, of course, it start started raining. Jellyfish! Yep. doing that, I actually need to take care of something quickly. Yeah, back at the workbench. Much better. chunk of iron up here. And iron will lead to us getting all... Uh, it's what I consider the first real practical path to take, considering that the other material... Uh, copper is just garbage. That's 
tungsten up there. That's... So we're not getting silver, we're getting tungsten this time around, and that is plenty good to see. I can do it, the game tells me. Yes, that you can. Gotta love the achievement. <laughs> yep, there's I think like... Oh wait, I can tell you right now. There's a grand total of 19 achievements I don't have for this yet. And most of those are just simply because I haven't bothered. Ah, look at us go. Yes, indeed. The only old or we didn't get at least pre-hard mode was the uh, what do you call it? The tungsten instead of silver. Because we got gold, we got copper, and we got iron. Oh, we're going down? Yeah. Just gonna get us a rope so we can climb back up. Uh, You can take care of that copper, I'll head down further. Sounds like a plan. So what is more than likely going to be our first boss, so to say? Oh no. Um, well, if we get a slime rain, it'll be the king slime. Otherwise, it will probably be the Eye of Cthulhu. Means by comparison, the Eye of Cthulhu is a pansy compared to the brain. happen to run out of torches? Nope, you still got some, I see. Oh, you got some iron in the water there to dig up. I actually saw that. I didn't think I would. Well, with all the iron we're getting, it should be very easy to soon be able to replace these copper pickaxes with iron ones, so you know that we actually have some range on our mining. I'm kind of a stickler for the slower progression. Well, it's just the cop. You forgot to breathe. 